everyone, it's Savoya here from VR Division. Welcome back to the channel. Today I have some important tips that I want to share with you that are useful when you are building environments inside Unreal Engine. The first one, don't you hate it when you are in your cinematic camera and you move your camera by mistake and sometimes you cannot press Ctrl Z. Hey, look at that, I'm pressing Ctrl Z and I lost my, I lost my frame. I hate it, don't you? Well, you can fix this if you right click on the camera and go to transform and block the actor move. However, I am a lazy person and I have a shortcut set on this is Ctrl F, it's like Ctrl Freeze. And when I press Ctrl F, now the camera is frozen. I don't need to click on transform and let the camera like do this, right? Like it's just too much. Find it where it's transform and do this. Set a shortcut and make your life easier. And speaking of shortcuts, I also have another shortcut that is also important. When I have an object like this, the water, I want to hide it because I want to, well, let's just use the shortcut, because I want to select another object like this and then be able to move it around. So let's take a look on how we can set up these shortcuts. If you go to edit, go to editor preferences, here is a tip for anything you want to set a shortcut to almost everything when you right click on or like click on that actor and find the thing you want to set shortcuts for in this case it's lock actor movement and for visibility we have height selected show only selected show all actors you can just search for these so in this case lock actor movement i type here lock actor once you type that we have general keyboard shortcuts level editor lock actor movement you can press here and set ctrl f for that and the same for hide selected. I use a shortcut shift H, that's my personal preference. Show only selected H and show all actors is control H. So when I want to hide something, I press shift H. When I want to unhide everything, I press control H. And when I want to isolate my selection on something that is specific, I just press H. And maybe Alt 2 to isolate my selection like this. Now, this is the first tip, believe it or not. Two tips in one, setting shortcuts. The second tip is something I learned from your boy, Winbush, what up, what up. It's setting the camera size. Sometimes, depending on your view, the camera size is way too big. So, if you go to edit, go to editor preferences. You just type here, camera size. The default value is five. You can set this to like 2.5 or three, or if you want, you can set it then it's up to you so usually i go with 2.5 thank you in push and the third tip when i am inside my camera like this and i have an actor like this and i want to move it on the y-axis like this but it's so annoying you can hold ctrl and then right click or left click so left click to move it on the x-axis and right click to move it on the y axis and I'm moving my mouse now so I'm holding ctrl and right click and moving my mouse and if you hold ctrl still and both mouse buttons you will move it on the z axis so if you hover your mouse here press alt and ctrl for more information you can see on my screen we have ctrl left mouse button ctrl right mouse button ctrl both mouse buttons ctrl and both buttons to move on the z axis this also work for rotation, so when you switch to press E or switch to the rotation, hold control, you will move it on the X or Y, which is not so useful in this case, but when you press control and both mouse buttons, you can rotate any object you have selected like this. These are all the tips I have for today. I hope you found this video useful. If you did, like, share, all that good stuff, I would appreciate it. And let me know what tips you have so we can make more videos like this and i will see you guys in the next video take care